Hi, Andrew Bell here. Great to be with you once again. Well, last month's federal budget has certainly boosted consumer confidence, and that's a really important ingredient to stimulate the economy. Let's hope it has a lasting effect. Some other really clear trends are emerging here on the Gold Coast. Investors remain extremely active, but home buyers, and in particular first home buyers, have increased in numbers, giving a more balanced buyer activity base. Also, a high proportion of buyers used to simply come off the internet. But in recent weeks and certainly months, we've seen how significant the Gold Coast Bulletin is in sourcing buyers. Our records show that most people inspecting properties are coming from the Gold Coast Bulletin. The actual buyers of properties are from the Bulletin. It's the return of the non-active buyer. In other words, those who weren't living on the internet searching night after night. These are lifestyle buyers, not bargain hunters, and they're adding to the price strength in the marketplace. We're also seeing significant higher activity at the top end of the market. This means that we are following the traditional recovery pattern with sales starting at the bottom of the market and working their way through to the top. It's therefore timely to be talking this week about real estate prices. Real estate underpins Australia's wealth, where, for example, the total value of real estate, residential real estate in Australia is $5.6 trillion. Commercial real estate is 0.7 trillion. Next highest is superannuation at 1.8 trillion and listed stocks at 1.6 trillion. There are 8.8 .8 million residential properties spread across 15,000 suburbs across Australia. Each suburb is affected by the National Fund of Bendles. But as we've talked about in recent months, they're also separately affected by regional issues. Property prices go through cycles relating to countries' economic fortunes, and therefore not just one continuous line of growth. Although combined values across the nation have increased by 7.9% in the 12 months to April 15, in our big cities, that Sydney and Melbourne, price growth has slowed. Now on the screen presently is the individual city price growth. It would be fair to say that most of Australia has no real issue around the recent price growth, but there are some real major concerns around Sydney and to a lesser degree Melbourne. You have to think that those markets are near, if not over the top, which is why we are seeing increasing numbers of buyers from Sydney and Melbourne looking to Australia's sixth largest city, namely the Gold Coast, as an alternative to buying in the southern markets. Recent Merrill Lynch research has shown that the median prices across Australia are below the compiled price. That's based on income growth and interest rates. So no fear in most cities about any bubble. Good to see that although the total value of residential housing is $5.6 trillion, the total value of outstanding mortgage debt is just a modest $1.37 trillion, or just 24.8% of the value. I'll talk more about that in later reports, but I do think we have to be realistic about price growth. With the current cash rate for borrowing at just 2% and with inflation trending below 2%, to see price growth above 6 or 7% in a year is unrealistic. We have some catch up and we've had that, but I think it's the journey ahead needs to be a lot more modest or we would be in for a major price correction at some stage. No risk of that on the Gold Coast, but those buying in Sydney and parts of Melbourne right now are at a severe risk of buying at the top of the market and maybe leading to a correction following. This cycle of real estate is something that everyone should be aware of. It's the wrong time to be buying in Sydney, but absolutely the right time to be buying other places such as the Gold Coast. Now, low inflation and low interest rates will be with us for some time. So the environment is sound in markets that have not yet experienced strong price growth. They've got a long way to go. Don't forget our upcoming Landlord Symposium next Saturday the 6th of June from 10 a.m. at the Southport Yacht Club at Main Beach. You know, I'm shocked to see just how many landlords around the country are getting very poor returns, certainly below what they should be. And that's because they've been failing to follow the annual checkups that should be done to make sure that they're aware of all the pitfalls that go with owning a property if you don't keep on top of it. So whether you currently own an investment property or you're looking to buy an investment property in the future, come along to this free of charge event. Just a small investment of your time is all, is, all that is needed. Please click on the link regarding the Landlord Symposium and register your attendance. And go in the draw to win a night's accommodation at the Sheraton Mirage Main Beach. We look forward to seeing you there. Well, until next fortnight, all the very best from me.